Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Yashika. Today I'll show you how to create a user, how to give roles to that user and how to add that user to a particular group and how to create a new group, how to create roles manually. I'll show you all those things. So this video is really beneficial for the new users in the service now. So let's begin it. Uh, let me open one so user form first. Okay. So scroll down, scroll down. Mm, yes. Under the user administration, you can open the users. So here are the many users. User ID should be first name dot last name. This is name, this is email ID, this is active, true and false. Active, true and false means that user is active and if it is false, if I put it false, then this user profile should get inactive. Okay, created and updated, these are all mandatory thing. Not mandatory, like uh, useful things, you must know about that. So let me create a new user. Okay, so let me give first name test dot t okay so i'll give the user id test dot t title you want to give then you can let me give email id also test dot this is not a mandatory field if you have then you can it is beneficial that you can give it it is good to do that dot t at the rate xyc dot com okay so calendar integration basic phone mobile phone all this just click on the save button and your user has been created this is the user and the user is test underscore dot t sorry okay so when i scroll down here is our uh, few tabs roles groups you can if you want then you can give role to the person from here also and by the role page also so let me give from here this is a user test and uh, let me give a role admin role to that user or i can say itl role if i want to give itl role so just click on itl right here itl click on itl and press this button save it all the itl roles has been added i can show you the uh, see all these roles 30 roles has been added to the user test okay if i want this user to be a part of a group so if i want to create a new group then i can do it from here new and if i want that uh, it should be a part of a existing group then i will click on the edit and uh, okay let me add it to the service desk yes so service click on this button and just save it so yes, now this user test user is a part of a service test group. We can verify it also from the groups page. Just go to the group and search with the service desk. Okay. When I clicked on the service desk, um, yes, what are the members? It has only four members test with David and ITL users. So our user test is a part of the group member of the service desk. So it is the very beneficial whenever sometimes we get requirements to create a profile of a user and to add some roles to that user or add that user to a particular group or create a new group. Okay, I'll show you how to create a new group also. Uh, just click on the new on the group page okay so now you can give name suppose I'll give testing who will the manager of that group um, let me give manager test yes. okay 
group email there was be a group email if you want then you can give any email and uh, description and then just save it so this is really beneficial for the new users then how to create and it is really important for the interview perspective also in many interviews the interviewer will ask how to create a user how to add to a user to a group this is very beneficial for the freshers hope you like the video if you enjoyed it then please like share and subscribe thank you